Well, welcome to Herding Wildcat. And today we're going to do some of my exercises to help my uh, hand. Okay, so if you haven't followed along on our journey, Josiah is one of our seven kids here in the home along with another one on the way, plus one out of the house. So Josiah is kind of right in the middle of all the kids. Everyone else is out playing on the back porch. I don't know if you can see them, but Josiah has was born with what they diagnosed as cerebral palsy. He had a stroke in utero. Um, they don't know exactly what caused that or anything, but he has about 60% of his brain. The rest is scar tissue and um, cyst, right? So where you would have the midline of your brain right in the middle, his is to the side, and the smaller side of his brain is mostly scar tissue, right? So we're working on healing his brain, yeah? Yeah. So part of his therapy program is he crawls, army crawls, 60 meters. How many times Five a day? Five times a day. Five times a day. And then we do a whole bunch of exercises. And we're going to just focus on the exercises that we've been doing on his hand. Because when he was, when we first found out he had cerebral palsy at about 10 months old, his hand stayed clenched with his thumb between his fingers. And you had to really pry to get his hand open. We had to watch his hand for sores on the inside because it was always moist from staying balled up. And as a baby, he would chew on it. So we did a lot of work to loosen it up and it's now a lot looser. But we went from being really, really tight all the time to being really, really loose all the time. And he's now gaining strength back that he can use his hand a little bit. Big changes that we see. You might not notice these changes, but. So the first exercise we're gonna do for your hand, ready? is we're gonna make a fist, okay? We wanna make a proper fist. We don't wanna have our thumb stuck inside, right? So we're gonna put our thumb so it's over the top and we're gonna squeeze as tight as we can for 10 seconds. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, when he used to do this exercise, he could barely grasp, like you easily could have just pulled your finger out. Can I see how tight you squeeze me and see if I can pull my finger out? Can you do that? Are you having a hard time right now? No? Okay. Um, hold on a second. So Josiah also has epilepsy and seizures. So when I'm asking if he's having a hard time, it has to do with the seizures, not the cerebral palsy. Well, it's caused by the cerebral palsy, but ready? Okay, so you're going to squeeze as tight as you can. Ready? It takes a lot of work to pull that finger out. I'll do it again. You want to do it again? Okay. Yeah. You like showing off your new skills, huh? Make sure we get all our fingers the right way. Ready? Squeeze. Ugh. Took a lot of work. Good job. So that's one exercise. He's been doing this. We've been doing this therapy program. We started the therapy program after I found out I was pregnant. So it's been less than 18 weeks, probably more like 16 weeks yeah, that we've been months, yeah. doing the therapy program. So that's been an exercise he's been doing the whole time, but we've noticed a lot of strength. The other thing about his finger is his thumb has always been misformed. I don't know how to explain it. It bends backwards. Oh my gosh. Can you what? Can I show um, what it does? Yeah. So it does this. Yeah. Yep, it doesn't work. Like, his other thumb does not do that. Let me see your other thumb. His other thumb works like a normal thumb. But this one, when he grasps, grasps now, go ahead, squeeze. His thumb actually is doing some of the work. His thumb used to always be loose on, and wouldn't do to any of the work. Uh, good job. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. One of the other exercises he does, he made this exercise up himself is he holds on to the rod. Go ahead. And what do you do to stretch your wrist? One, two. And you're holding tight to the rod while you do three, that too, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I wanna try something. I didn't tell you I was gonna try this, okay? This is a new one. Can you put your hand in? Put, no, sorry, put the rod in your hand. I'm not speaking correctly this morning. Can you squeeze with this hand as hard as you can and we can see if you can hold on to it? Okay, so it used to be that when he would try to hold something with this hand, it would fall out of his hand because he didn't have enough strength to hold it up, right? Let's see, squeeze again as hard as you can. 
he can actually hold that in his hand and it's not coming out. We could give him something as light as a spoon to hold in his hand and his hand would immediately open up and drop it on the floor or at least let it go where you could easily slide it out. He hasn't been able to do the him grasping, him releasing something all the way, but we're working on that, right? Yeah. Can you show how you can hold my finger really tight? Squeeze. Okay, and now can you let go so my finger can come out? Release. Yeah, very good. Good job. Okay, so another exercise we're doing to help with this hand. Josiah, I want you to try this. I don't know if you can do it, but I want you to try. His hand always stays, so if you see where his elbow is, his hand always stays face up to the ceiling, like the back of his hand to the ceiling. He can't do this motion. It's a motion that he's never had. I can do it with You can do it with that hand, yeah. Can you try to do it with this hand? See how far you can do it? Okay, because you're leaning it against your leg. Can you do it without leaning it against your leg? Can you turn it? Nope. But that's one of the exercises we're doing, right? Mm -hmm. Mommy puts my thumb in here. And we turn it and go back. And turn it and go back, right? And we, when we first started this, I couldn't go past about here without it hurting. Um, just causing a lot of tightness. So we're definitely getting looser in being able to do this, right? Because it doesn't hurt anymore when I do this one. He's also gained with this arm and hand a lot of strength as we've been doing this exercise. Hold on. I'm sitting in a weird position from where I normally sit, so I'm trying to find the best way. We do this exercise where he has to use the muscles in his arm and shoulder to pull my hand to his chest. One, two. Pull. Work hard here. Three, You're on video. Four, five. Six. When we first started this exercise, he could barely pull it just with the weight of my hand, let alone me resisting. Like he just had trouble pulling it to his chest in a organized fashion. It kind of just went wherever. You ready to push? Yeah. Okay, push. Push. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, can you come sit on the edge of the couch? Another one we've just started working on. We add to his therapy, every couple days we'll add a new exercise. So the first exercise we started with was the fist that we showed you earlier where he was trying to make a fist. But like the exercise we're gonna show you right now, he only started a week or two ago, hasn't been very long. So we're just slowly increasing. If we increase too many things at once, um, it causes seizures in his brain because we're overloading him, right? We're trying to heal his brain, but we need to do it in a slow process so we don't overload his brain. He has seizures every day, even if we don't add new exercises, but we're trying to be slow. So this exercise, we're trying to get him to use these muscles to push down his hand, right? Because he doesn't have, his hand is very um, not muscular, his arm. He can do everything with this. He can throw a ball better than any of the kids in the house. He can hit a ball better than any of the oh, kids in the house. Can I tell them what I do when I... Sure. So when I'm hitting a ball, I hit it very hard. And You do. But you hold the bat in one hand. Right? You hold the bat with your hand and the ball with that hand. And he throws the ball up in the air and hits it with the uh, same hand. Which is quite a feat if you haven't tried it. Uh, he sees a bird or something. What? After we mow. Okay, but we got to finish our video first. Yeah. Okay, so this exercise, we're working on him building up muscles here to be able to do this, right? Push. One, two, three, four. Sorry, this is awkward. Five, we're in a weird position. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Are you okay if we take off your shirt and show them how the muscles in your back work when you do your arm exercises? Uh, if you want me to. Okay, if you're okay with that. Okay, I want you to feel comfortable with that too. So turn around, you take this off. He has a big um, Band-Aid on his elbow because doing his crawling, he got a sore on his elbow, right? Okay. But now we have mats. But now we have mats, it's just the sore has to heal. Okay. 
So one of his exercises every day, I want you to do it holding this hand so you can get nice and straight above. He had very little rotation in this shoulder, and so we're working on him being able to use this shoulder better. So go ahead and hold it and do 10 up. All the way up, be as straight as you can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Still looking at me, can you do your shoulder shrugs that you were doing? Try to get uh, there we go. Good job. Two, when we started this one, this shoulder didn't come up three, as high. Usually he does this in front of a mirror so he can see five, where his shoulders go because he can't feel it as well. But you're doing really good. Seven, he used to do this. Keep going. Eight, but now he can get them both nine, up and feel it. Ten. Good job. Are there any other exercises in particular you wanted me to show, Daddy? Or does that show what we've been learning? Yeah. Sure. He has much more muscle tone than he used to have in all the muscles in this arm and a lot more rotation of that shoulder. He used to, he's always, since he was little, been able to find ways to use his hand to hold something. Like he would, you know, be wanting to get in a door so he'd put something and hold it with his arm so he could open the door. But now he actually can move that arm where he wants to and use it for a lot more stuff, yeah? And yesterday while I was adding my leg, I could hold my hand in. He could stretch his arm all the way up there. What? Okay. This arm is tighter and smaller than his other arm, so he has trouble reaching it as far as this. Right. You can tell him about what you sat on yesterday. I sat on a motorcycle. <laughs> he didn't ride the motorcycle, but he got to sit on the friend's parked motorcycle, and that was really fun, right? Yeah. So thank you for joining us today on Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. Josiah was very excited to show you all the progress he's been making with his hand. So thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.